the speed at which China-SA relationship grows for the past 15 years is amazing. Take economic relations and trade as an example. Our bilateral trade volume was only about 1.5 billion US dollars when the diplomatic relationship was first established. But in 2012, the figure reached almost 60 billion US dollars, which means an increase of about 40 times in the past 15 years. Uh, China-South Africa trade is one-fourth of China-Africa trade. Now, China-Africa's trade volume is almost uh, 200 billion US dollars. For the first eight months of this year, our trade volume reached 44.2 billion US dollars, an increase of 13.3% from the same period last year. China has been South Africa's largest trading partner country, largest export market, and the largest source of import for the past four consecutive years. Meanwhile, South Africa is China's largest trading partner in Africa. China and South Africa have been supporting each other for common development in the past 15 years. We are good friends, good brothers, and good partners. Currently, the international landscape, as well as both our two countries, is undergoing profound changes. This brings major opportunities to the development of our bilateral relationship. China-South Africa relationship has become one of the best examples of the cooperation between developing countries. We felt the impact of the economic realities and the difficulties that we've experienced. But we were able to insulate ourselves much better because of the relationship with China. Because as the economic decline took place in Europe and that traditional trade became under serious difficulties, there was this emerging new markets and the bond between South Africa and China. And therefore I want to say to the ambassador that indeed so, um, it had a fundamental, this relation had a fundamental support in the insulation in terms of the economic um, challenges that we've got. And I think we must give China an end for that.